Have you ever wondered what it means to stand up for justice, even when it means sacrificing? Everything you hold dear? What if the cost of your principles was not just your life, but the lives of your family and loved ones? And what if your grandfather was none other than Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? This is the story of Imam Hussein, who faced such a choice and chose to stand firm. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, Nasiha Studio. In this video, we will be talking about one of the beloved grandsons of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and a warrior who was martyred in one of the greatest battles fought in Islam. Imam Hussein, the beloved grandson of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, stood firmly against tyranny and oppression. His journey from Medina to Karbala was a testament to his unwavering commitment to justice and truth. This story takes us back to the year 680 AD, a pivotal moment in Islamic history, the call for justice. It all began when Yazid ibn Muawiyah became the caliph of the Umayyad dynasty. Yazid's rule was marked by oppression, corruption, and a blatant disregard for Islamic values. Imam Hussein, known for his piety and righteousness, could not pledge allegiance to such a ruler. For him, the principles of Islam and the teachings of his grandfather, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, were paramount. The people of Kufa, dissatisfied with Yazid's rule, reached out to Imam Hussein, urging him to lead them against the tyrant. They promised their support and allegiance, believing that Imam Hussein was the rightful leader who could restore justice and uphold the true values of Islam. With a heavy heart and a deep sense of duty, Imam Hussein decided to answer their call. Imam Hussein sent his cousin, Muslim Ibn Aqil, to Kufa to assess the situation and gather support. Upon arrival, Muslim Ibn Aqil was warmly received and many pledged their allegiance to Imam Hussein. Encouraged by the news, Imam Hussein prepared to make his journey to Kufa, despite warnings from his close companions about the dangers that lay ahead. However, the situation in Kufa took a drastic turn. Yazid's governor in Kufa, Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, learned of Muslim ibn Aqil's presence and the growing support for Imam Hussein. He swiftly moved to suppress the uprising, capturing and executing Muslim ibn Aqil. The people of Kufa, fearing retribution from Yazid's forces, withdrew their support for Imam Hussein. Despite the betrayal and the looming threat, Imam Hussein remained committed to his mission. He understood that the struggle for justice required immense sacrifice. His resolve to stand against tyranny and uphold the principles of Islam remained unshaken, setting the stage for the fateful events that would unfold on the plains of Karbala. The journey begins. Imam Hussein, along with his family and a small group of loyal companions, set out from Medina towards Kufa. This journey was not just a physical one, it was a profound statement of resistance against oppression and a commitment to justice. The path they chose was fraught with danger and uncertainty, but their resolve was unbreakable. As they traveled, news of Yazid's oppressive tactics and the growing opposition to his rule spread. Despite this, Imam Hussein and his caravan were determined to reach Kufa. Along the way, they stopped at various places where Imam Hussein would address those he encountered, explaining his mission and seeking their support. Imam Hussein's caravan consisted of his family, including his sisters, wives, children, and a few loyal followers. The journey was arduous, especially under the scorching desert sun. Despite the harsh conditions, their spirits remained high, fueled by their unwavering faith and the righteousness of their cause. However, as they approached Kufa, they received devastating news. Yazid's governor, Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, had captured and killed Muslim ibn Aqil, Imam Hussein's envoy. The people of Kufa, out of fear for their lives, had withdrawn their support. Imam Hussein and his followers were now isolated, with the forces of Yazid closing in. Despite the grim news, Imam Hussein's determination did not waver. He knew that turning back was not an option. His mission was not just about reaching Kufa, but standing up against tyranny and injustice, no matter the cost. With a heavy heart but a resolute spirit, Imam Hussein continued his journey, leading his caravan towards an uncertain but destined confrontation, the desert of Karbala. On the 2nd of Muharram, 61 AH, October 680 AD, Imam Hussein and his caravan arrived at the barren plains of Karbala. The desolate desert, with its scorching heat and unforgiving terrain, 
became the setting for one of the most tragic and heroic chapters in Islamic history. As soon as they arrived, Yazid's army, led by Umar ibn Sa'd, quickly surrounded Imam Hussein's camp, cutting off their access to the Euphrates River. This strategic move was aimed at weakening Imam Hussein and his followers by depriving them of water. Despite the dire situation, Imam Hussein's camp remained resolute, their spirits buoyed by their faith and their leader's unwavering commitment to justice. The lack of water in the oppressive heat began to take a severe toll on Imam Hussein's camp. Men, women, and children alike suffered from the intense thirst, but their resolve remained strong. Imam Hussein, seeing the suffering of his family and companions, made several attempts to negotiate with the enemy, appealing to their sense of humanity and justice. However, his pleas were met with cold indifference. Imam Hussein's camp was not just a military encampment, but a symbol of resistance against tyranny. Despite being vastly outnumbered and surrounded, the small group remained steadfast in their commitment to their cause. Imam Hussein continued to inspire his followers with his words and actions, reminding them of the importance of standing up for truth and justice, even in the face of insurmountable odds. The nights in Karbala were filled with prayer and reflection. Imam Hussein and his companions spent their time in devotion, seeking strength and guidance from Allah. They knew that a great trial awaited them, but their faith never wavered. As the days passed, the tension in Karbala escalated. Yazid's forces continued to tighten their grip, while Imam Hussein's camp prepared for the inevitable confrontation. The stark contrast between the two camps highlighted the moral struggle at the heart of the conflict. A small group standing for truth and justice against a powerful army representing oppression and tyranny. In the face of imminent danger, Imam Hussein gathered his followers and spoke to them with unwavering resolve. He reminded them of the principles they were fighting for and the eternal significance of their struggle. His words resonated deeply with his companions, strengthening their determination to stand firm in the face of overwhelming adversity. The stage was set for a confrontation that would forever alter the course of Islamic history. The plains of Karbala, with their harsh and unforgiving landscape, bore witness to the unyielding spirit of Imam Hussein and his companions as they prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice for justice and righteousness, the stand against injustice. Imam Hussein knew the odds were overwhelmingly against him. With only 72 companions by his side, he faced a formidable enemy force, numbering in the thousands. Yet surrender was never an option. Imam Hussein's resolve to stand against tyranny and injustice was unbreakable, and his unwavering faith inspired his followers to embrace their fate with courage and dignity. As the tension in Karbala escalated, Imam Hussein addressed Yazid's army, reminding them of the principles of Islam and the importance of justice and righteousness. He spoke with eloquence and passion, highlighting the teachings of his grandfather, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the need to uphold truth and integrity. Despite his compelling words, his pleas fell on deaf ears as the enemy forces were determined to carry out Yazid's oppressive orders. The night before the battle, Imam Hussein gathered his companions and offered them a final chance to leave, absolving them of any obligation to stay. He emphasized that the enmity was directed at him personally and that they were free to depart if they wished. However, his loyal followers chose to remain by his side, bound by their love and respect for him and their commitment to the cause of justice. On the morning of the 10th of Muharram, known as Ashura, the battle began. Imam Hussein's small group faced the massive army with unmatched bravery. Despite their limited numbers and resources, they fought valiantly, driven by their unyielding belief in their cause. One by one, his companions went into battle, displaying extraordinary valor and sacrifice, but ultimately falling to the superior numbers of Yazid's forces. Imam Hussein's family members, including his sons, nephews, and brothers, also took part in the fight. They exemplified the highest ideals of courage and selflessness, fighting to protect their faith and uphold the principles of Islam. The sight of these noble warriors, each fighting with unmatched determination, left an indelible mark on all who witnessed their sacrifice. Throughout the day, Imam Hussein continued to inspire and lead his followers, embodying the very essence of bravery and faith. Despite being surrounded and outnumbered, he never wavered in his commitment to justice. His final moments were marked by a profound sense of peace and devotion to Allah. As the sun set on the plains of Karbala, Imam Hussein stood alone, severely wounded, but unwavering in his resolve. Refusing to surrender, 
He fought until his last breath, his actions echoing the timeless message of standing against oppression and tyranny, no matter the cost. His martyrdom became a symbol of ultimate sacrifice and an enduring testament to the struggle for justice and truth. The events of Ashura and Imam Hussein's heroic stand against injustice have left a lasting legacy, inspiring countless generations to uphold the values of justice, courage, and righteousness. His sacrifice at Karbala serves as a powerful reminder that the fight against tyranny is eternal and that true strength lies in standing up for what is right, even in the face of overwhelming adversity. The fateful day. On the 10th of Muharram, known as Ashura, the tragic events of Karbala reached their heartbreaking climax. Imam Hussein and his small band of 72 loyal companions faced Yazid's vast army. Knowing that the day would end in bloodshed and martyrdom, this day would etch their names in history as the, the ultimate exemplars of courage and sacrifice. The morning sun rose over the arid plains of Karbala, casting a somber light on the scene of impending battle. Imam Hussein and his companions prepared themselves through prayer and reflection, seeking strength and solace in their faith. They knew that their stand against tyranny was a testament to their unwavering commitment to justice and the principles of Islam. Imam Hussein, despite the overwhelming odds, remained a beacon of calm and resolve. He addressed his companions one last time, reminding them of the noble cause for which they were about to fight and likely die. His words were filled with faith and conviction, resonating deeply with those who had chosen to stand by his side. The battle began with the heroic charge of Imam Hussein's companions. Despite their small numbers, each warrior fought with unmatched bravery, embodying the spirit of resistance against oppression. One by one, they fell, their sacrifices illuminating the stark contrast between the righteousness of their cause and the corruption of Yazid's regime. Among the fallen were Imam Hussein's closest family members, his son Ali Akbar, known for his striking resemblance to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, fought valiantly before succumbing to his wounds. His young nephew, Qasim, the son of Imam Hassan, also met a tragic end. Even Imam Hussein's infant son, Ali Asghar, was not spared. In a heart-wrenching moment, Imam Hussein held his child up, pleading for water, only to have the infant struck down by an arrow. Imam Hussein's heart was heavy with grief as he witnessed the martyrdom of his beloved family and companions. Yet, his resolve did not falter. He continued to fight, embodying the principles of bravery and steadfastness. Despite his exhaustion and the mounting wounds, he pressed on, his actions a living testament to his commitment to justice and truth. As the day wore on, the battlefield became a testament to the sacrifices of Imam Hussein and his companions. The enemy forces, despite their superior numbers, were unable to break the spirit of those who stood against them. Imam Hussein, now alone and grievously wounded, continued to inspire with his undying faith. In his final moments, Imam Hussein fell to the ground, surrounded by the bodies of his fallen companions. His last words were a prayer to Allah, seeking forgiveness and reaffirming his faith. With his martyrdom, the plains of Karbala were forever sanctified by his blood and the blood of his loyal followers. The events of that fateful day sent shockwaves throughout the Islamic world. The martyrdom of Imam Hussein became a symbol of ultimate sacrifice and an enduring testament to the struggle against tyranny. The story of Karbala, marked by unparalleled bravery and unwavering faith, serves as a powerful reminder of the eternal fight for justice and righteousness. The legacy of Ashura and the martyrdom of Imam Hussein continue to inspire millions around the world, reminding us that the true essence of strength lies in standing up for what is right, even in the face of insurmountable odds. The lessons of Karbala resonate through the ages, a beacon of hope and resilience for all who seek justice and truth. The Martyrdom of Imam Hussein As the Battle of Karbala reached its tragic crescendo, the afternoon sun bore witness to an unparalleled display of sacrifice and valor. Imam Hussein, surrounded by the lifeless bodies of his loved ones and companions, faced the enemy forces with a heart heavy with grief but unbroken in spirit. The martyrdom of Imam Hussein was not just an end, but a powerful beginning, a message of unwavering, commitment to justice and truth that would echo through the ages. Imam Hussein, now gravely wounded and exhausted, continued to stand firm in his resolve. His body bore the marks of countless injuries, yet his spirit remained unyielding, 
he made his final stand alone, fighting valiantly against Yazid's forces. Despite the unbearable pain, his faith and determination shone brightly, illuminating the principles for which he was prepared to give his life. In his final moments, Imam Hussein sought to quench the thirst of his parched soul with the love and remembrance of Allah. He stood amidst the battlefield, a solitary figure of righteousness against a tide of oppression. His last words were a prayer, a testament to his unwavering devotion to the principles of Islam and the teachings of his grandfather, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. As the enemy closed in, Imam Hussein fell to the ground, overwhelmed by the sheer number of attackers. Even in his final breaths, he remained a beacon of resistance and faith. His head was severed from his body, a brutal act meant to silence his voice forever. But the martyrdom of Imam Hussein achieved the opposite. His message of justice and sacrifice grew louder, resonating through the hearts of believers across generations. The aftermath of Imam Hussein's martyrdom was heart-wrenching. The women and children of his family were taken captive and paraded through the streets of Kufa and Damascus. Despite their immense suffering, they remained steadfast, their dignity and strength serving as a testament to Imam Hussein's legacy. His sister Zainab and his son, Imam Zain ul Abidin, played pivotal roles in ensuring that the story of Karbala was told and remembered, preserving the message of resistance against tyranny. The martyrdom of Imam Hussein at Karbala had a profound and lasting impact on the Islamic world. It ignited a spirit of defiance against oppression and inspired countless generations to stand up for justice. The events of Ashura became a powerful symbol of the eternal struggle between right and wrong, a reminder that true strength lies in standing up for what is just, even at the greatest personal cost. Every year, millions of people around the world commemorate the martyrdom of Imam Hussein during the month of Muharram, particularly on the day of Ashura. They remember his unparalleled sacrifice, his unwavering faith, and his enduring commitment to justice. The story of Karbala is not just a tale of tragedy, but a beacon of hope and resilience inspiring all who seek to uphold the principles of truth and righteousness. The martyrdom of Imam Hussein continues to serve as a powerful reminder of the enduring spirit of justice and faith. His legacy lives on, reminding us that the fight against tyranny is eternal and that true strength lies in standing up for what is right, no matter the cost. The Consequences – A Legacy of Resilience The events following the martyrdom of Imam Hussein were as poignant as the battle itself. The plains of Karbala, now soaked with the blood of martyrs, stood silent witness to a profound moment in history. The immediate consequences of this tragic day were marked by immense suffering, but they also sowed the seeds of a legacy that would inspire generations. With Imam Hussein and his companions martyred, Yazid's forces turned their attention to the surviving members of Imam Hussein's family. The women and children, including his sister Zainab and his ailing son, Imam Zainul Abidin, were taken captive. The journey from Karbala to Kufa and then to Damascus was one of immense hardship and humiliation, yet it showcased the unyielding strength and dignity of Imam Hussein's family. Zainab, despite her grief, emerged as a powerful voice of resistance and truth. Her speeches in the courts of Kufa and Damascus were fearless denunciations of Yazid's tyranny and eloquent testimonies to the righteousness of Imam Hussein's cause. Her resilience ensured that the tragedy of Karbala was not forgotten, but rather remembered and revered. Imam Zain ul Abidin, despite his illness, also played a crucial role in preserving the memory of Karbala. His prayers and sermons became sources of inspiration emphasizing the importance of justice, compassion, and steadfast faith. Through their courage and eloquence, both Zainab and Imam Zainul Abidin kept the spirit of Karbala alive. The news of the atrocities committed at Karbala and the subsequent suffering of Imam Hussein's family spread throughout the Islamic world, igniting a spirit of resistance against Yazid's oppressive regime. The martyrdom of Imam Hussein became a rallying cry for those who opposed tyranny and sought justice. The events of Karbala galvanized the community, leading to numerous uprisings and movements aimed at restoring justice and upholding Islamic principles. The legacy of Karbala transcended time and geography. It became a symbol of the eternal struggle between justice and oppression, right and wrong. The story of Imam Hussein's sacrifice continues to inspire millions of people around the world, 
Every year, the month of Muharram, particularly the day of Ashura, is marked by commemorations and mourning. People gather to remember the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, reflecting on his unwavering commitment to justice and the profound impact of his sacrifice. These commemorations are not merely rituals, but acts of resistance against oppression, a reaffirmation of the values Imam Hussein stood for. The legacy of Karbala, underscored by the resilience and bravery of Imam Hussein and his family, it teaches us that true strength lies not in power or numbers, but in unwavering commitment to what is right. The story of Karbala continues to inspire and guide, a beacon of hope and resilience for all who seek justice and truth. Imam Hussein's martyrdom at Karbala is a powerful example of courage, faith, and dedication to justice. He refused to support Yazid's unjust rule and chose to sacrifice his life in the face of overwhelming odds. This act highlights the values of truth and righteousness that define his legacy. Imam Hussein's stand against tyranny and his ultimate sacrifice have inspired many generations, making his story a symbol of hope and strength. His legacy reminds us of the ongoing struggle between right and wrong and the importance of standing up for justice, no matter the cost. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed this video and found it interesting, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more content celebrating the Islamic heritage. Your support really helps spread these important stories and teachings. We hope that Allah brings peace, happiness, and success to you and your family.